So we will read uh, from page 71. <coughs> so Gurudev is sharing. Taste. God is taste. He is the one we are searching for. Why we are eating for? For taste. And the higher taste is there. In the loving exchange is the higher taste. And the truth is also there. What is the subject, subjective truth? When we desire to experience with our senses, then we say, Bogus. It's Maya. It's a material truth. Why? Because we have to see this truth, the loving exchange of the divine couple. That is the truth. Okay, so I want to read the mm. comment. Please. Sometimes people are asking, what, why we are living, what for? And uh, one of the answer is Ananda Mayo Vyasa. We are looking for Ananda, happiness. Here mentions Lasso by Saha. Ah, no, uh, Lasso by Saha. Mm. Krishna is saying, I'm taste. Means Krishna can have so much taste. Krishna has a taste. So if we know, if we taste Krishna, this is very wonderful. So this is impersonalist is saying Krishna has no form, no, you know, is that is say bogus. Because if Krishna has no form means no taste. That's one point. And how to taste Krishna? How to taste Krishna? Then we need Baba. We need feeling. And uh, this taste and feeling mixing then very much Ananda is coming. So who is uh, this Baba? Who has Baba? This Sri Mati Radharani. So Sri Mati Radharani could taste Krishna most. Krishna, so <laughs> this is in interesting. Gurudev saying, this truth, loving exchange of divine couple, and Lhasa and Baba, this exchange, we could feel most, most blissful uh, things. So this is, uh, truth is not tasteless. Truth is very tasty. This is good devil, I guess, want to say. So that's, <coughs> that's my 
comment. <laughs> and like, if you could do. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Here, go, uh, it's Ade. Rade, Rade. Uh, Ade. Please, please. Just one, one more small point to add on uh, to Jayananda Maharaj's point. Mm -hmm. Rudev is saying here, not that truth is love, but that truth is loving exchange. It's the experience, the flowing experience of love that is truth, and not just a lifeless idea of love. It's a love that's lived in relation, in exchange. Mm. That. Yes, very good. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. So we will continue reading. When it becomes divine, this is to be there. This is the highest taste. This taste will be highest. Not like the taste we experience with my senses to satisfy my senses. That is very low taste. Because it is never satisfied. But here is the highest spiritual flavor. Never this taste will go down. Highest flavor. God is not important. Taste is important. <laughs> yes, good day. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so here mentioned, Guru Dev mentioned <clears throat> material taste. We are thinking material taste is very good. Mm. But material taste is some problem. So material taste has a limitation. One day it will be finished. And uh, Never satisfied. That is a problem. <clears throat> because this material sense has limitation. <laughs> Limited. And the senses power is become weak. Finally, this is coming. But here Guru Dev mentioned there is another Another taste, divine taste. This taste is highest and spiritual flavor. And never this taste <coughs> will go down. So here say highest. Which kind of taste is highest? So many people has many tastes. Some people has taste of dasharasa. Some people taste of sakyarasa. Some people taste of basarasa. Some people taste of madura rasa. Among Madura Rasa, many tastes. Like uh, some, <clears throat> like a Kubija's taste, ordinary taste. And also, Dwaraka's Queen's taste. And Brindavan, Gopi's taste. 
among the gopi taste different taste some people has uh, krishna dik sneha bishama sneha someone who has love krishna than radha some someone who has sama sneha some taste of radha and krishna equally love and some people has taste of uh, Lada Adik Sneha, Babo Rasa Rasa. So, <clears throat> so here Gurudev does not mention it, but uh, there is a spiritual taste and highest taste. As, high, as far as we are understanding, this higher taste Mahaprabhu gave us. No other incarnation, no other age gave this taste. This Rupa Goswami say, this is Babo Urasa Rasa. Generally speaking, we say Manjari Baba or Kinkari Baba. Because this taste never go down. Because Radha and Krishna's loving feelings increasing more and more. Rad Radhika <coughs> see Krishna, and then Radhika's face is more, more beautiful. And Mohan see Radhika's beautiful face, then Mohan become more beautiful. And then this more beautiful face of Mohan, Radhika see, then Radhika's feeling more increasing. <clears throat> this spiritual feeling is always increasing. If we read Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, Virapak Sumanjari, this feeling can never end it. Every time we read, we hear, we heard, then more new taste is coming. And they say, Goto is not important because Brindaban, there is no God. Maybe Goto is there, sun God. Radhika worship sun God. <clears throat> but nobody worship Krishna as God. This is the beauty of Brindaban. Guru Dev is saying one, one lady, one lady worshiping Gopar. And one lady, very old lady, had relationship with Gopara Diti. And then Gopara Diti was saying, Ma, I'm hungry, please make this one. I need this one, please go to shopping for the market. I need salty one. This lady, old lady, is all day working for, for, Part. So this is uh, Guru Dev's uh, interesting. Goto is not important, especially in Brindaba. Taste is important. Relationship is important. This is, uh, this is a simple word, but many, many deep meaning is inside of Guru Dev's uh, words. This is amazing. Mm. So I just do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Then Guru Dev continues. God. We know about God. The taste. We are running for the taste. We are running for the flavor. And in God consciousness, we are very impersonal, often passive. 
But when taste, flavor comes, it makes a very personal relationship. Sweetness. We are searching for sweetness. Where I will see these sweet things? Okay, this is it. <laughs> so, Guru Dev is saying, sometimes God consciousness, oh, so not sometimes, in God consciousness, we are very impersonal. Or personal. So sometimes we do by the bhakti. By the bhakti we do, but by the bhakti, taste and flavor may not strong. Personal relation may not strong because. Aishwarya feeling is there. All and reverence. So therefore, one day Guru Dev explained to us. A coward boy <laughs> went to Baikunta Pranet. <laughs> Krishna sitting strong. But and then cowboy tried to try to em you know, embrace, try to say, Krishna, why you are sitting there? Please come down or, or let us sit your, your chair. But Baikuntabashi said, no, you cannot do this. Then card boy saying, what kind of place? There is no love, no, no relationship. I don't like this place. Coward boy said, I don't like this place. It's not personal. So, this flavor, especially Raga Bhakti, is more taste is coming. More flavor is coming. And more personal relationship is coming. Mm. So, that is Braja Baba. And Braja Baba, we could understand. If we stay in Braja, Brindavan, without the mercy of Brindavan, without the mercy of dust of Brindavan, without the mercy of Lashka Vaishnava, we could not understand deep, intimate feeling of Braja Basi. That is Guru Dev's uh, teaching teaching us and sharing us. Mm. Gurudev is asking, how will I take the sweet vision in the sweetness of the divine couple how sweet they are how are their sweet exchanges how they are made <laughs> for each other that makes the mind crazy our swarupa in swarupa we become mad when we see that sweetness, sweetness. Supreme bliss and supreme flavor. Understand? <laughs> mm. 
God consciousness is lower now. Okay. It seems the Guru Dev is seeing. Guru Dev is seeing the sweetness of the divine couple, Radha and Moham. Only Manjari could see. Only Manjari could understand mostly the sweetness of the divine couple. Saki also may taste also. But the manjari is more deep, more deep feeling. So it seems uh, Gurudev is stressing in Swarupa. In Swarupa, we could see divine couples leader and divine couple exchange and sweetness and madness. So if we are material consciousness, we can we cannot see, we cannot understand. But we if we are in spiritual consciousness, especially Swarupa, in Swarupa, we fortunate, we see, we feel, we taste, we could understand madness. Madness of the mind couple. Because Radhika has <laughs> Madanakya Mahababa. It's crazy. Most crazy, most feeling. Radhika forget everything. Some, sometimes Radhika forget Krishna is very near. But one word, Madhusudana is gone. Radhika conscience completely out. And then she becomes crazy girl. Where, where is Mohan? Where is Mohan? Where is Mohan? And looking for Krishna and Mohan. Krishna was completely bewildered. What's happening? I am here. But Radhika could not recognize because she was, she is enter in Divya, Divya mud, craziness. And also Radhika was so, so feeling taste. And then Radhika was thinking, Actually, I am Krishna. Krishna was thinking, <laughs> I am Radha. And then they exchange, uh, they, they change position. They change feeling. They try to taste, uh, object become subject, subject become object. This is a craziness. This craziness, Manjari could see. Manjari could taste. Wow, this is, uh, this flavor is, uh, is Goswami's book and also Rashka Vajnava's. <laughs> Rashka Vajnava is tasting. This good is the same. Understand? <laughs> I, I remember. <laughs> Gora Govina Sami. Gora Govina Yusami. When he did class, he gave class. Very often he, uh, he, he's asking us, do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> so Guru David also saying, this loving exchange in Swarup. Do you understand? Do you feel it? Gurudev was asking. <laughs> so Gurudev is seeing this 
this some leader, some some situation. And then Gurudeva wants to share us what kind of feeling he has. We are fortunate we could understand this feeling from Rashika Vaishnava. Only mercy of Rashika Vaishnava. Especially this Raganuga Bhakti, we could attain Raga Bhakti by the mercy of Rashika Vaishnava. So this is Guru Dev's interesting. Hmm. So Guru Dev, Guru Dev continues. God consciousness is lower now. And why? Because of Radhika. Radhika is the eternal potency, inter internal. Radhika is the internal potency, Svarupa Shakti. Because of Svarupa Shakti, she shows us the sweetness. She shows us the flavor. God cannot show this alone. God will show that I am the God. I am the Creator. But Svarupa Shakti shows this because we start following her, so we are Radha Dasyam. Wow. And you could explain something? Hmm. I remember now how Gurudev shares <laughs> how Krishna proves that he is supreme <laughs> when he goes to Radha and begs her. This makes Krishna supreme. <laughs> when uh, Krishna takes Kamb and combs Radha's hair, that makes him supreme. <laughs> And then those devotees who witness this exchange, <laughs> they are, how to say, they are immersed in sweetness. It's like a volcano of sweetness, this kind of exchange. The sweetest Krishna, <laughs> the sweetest Radha, volcano of sweetness. So then God consciousness is lower. Then we just for completely forget. Mm. Yeah. And when, when God consciousness is offered again, then we don't feel anymore this. We feel it's uh, like uh, uh, Gurudev says Amazon. <laughs> then from that point of view, we feel, oh my God, this God's consciousness. When I, when when I was when when I wasn't aware, I, now by the mercy of devotees and by the mercy of Guru and Radharani, now I am tasting part, particles of drops of sweetness, and this particle of drop makes me just feel God consciousness is not tasty. It's, mm. yeah, it's a market. It's Amazon. Yeah, I just need something from God. And God is God. I am small soul. And God will take care of me. So whenever I need some something, I go to God who is my master. 
and my caretaker. Mm. And here is different because this sweetness, like, uh, it's like a magnet. It, it uh, forces us, it's, it attracts us to jump into Lila. We don't to be any more uh, like merchant or passive. We want to run into the Lila. So yeah, this is what I <laughs> what I remembered. <laughs> mm. So this is the good day one day I think say in the beauty of the love. We have a tendency to take shelter of outside energy of Krishna, this external energy. But the Gurudev said, we have to go near. We have to take shelter Krishna's internal potency. Swarupa Shakti. Because internal potencies, radicals in charging, especially Pradini Shakti, pleasure giving potency. So if we take shelter this internal potency, Pradini Shakti, that is our normal condition of life. And then so much sweetness, so much taste is coming. Someone who is serving radika is so much taste is coming. So Andakaji was saying, this serving radika is so tasty. Therefore, Krishna want to serve radika. Krishna want to comb the hair of radika. Krishna dressing radika, ornamenting radika, like a garland. Like jasmine flower garland, Krishna Mohan want to put on, especially in the hair. Mm. So this Radha Dasham is bubble rasa rasa is so much tasty. Someone who tastes this, this, this rasa, Radha Dasham, then he cannot remain, uh, he can become mad and uh, he want to distribute. Like Mahaprabhu was like this and Nita is like this. They become drunken in this, this loving, love of Godhead, especially this Babo Rasa Rasa. Then they taste and then they distribute it. And this is our also Pavana Parampara. So this Guru Deva the story thing. We should follow in her, take shelter in her, and serving her. That is Radha Dasha to become maid servant of Shrimati Radharani. This is the highest goal. Mahaprabhu teaching is Guru Devas is showing us. Radhe Radhe, may I yeah. ask one question about this point? Yes. No? <laughs> Thank you so much. So it's very important and interesting topic. And here today we are fortunately Jananda Maharaj is here and Kaji is here, Uttabaji also, maybe Radha Charam Ji also here. So I'm still not so much experience in this way. 
So I would like to ask、uh, your experiences. I had、uh, before、um, normally first Krishna Bhakta, then go to Radha Dasi. What is the taste? Dif-、uh, different of taste, Krishna Bhakta and Radha Dasi. I would like to ask your feelings, personal experiences, if possible. What is the different taste? It may be helpful to us. Jarade. Victor is asking <laughs> the taste of a servant of Krishna and the taste of servant, made servant of Radhika. Yeah, personal your experience is very treasure for us. Please. So maybe Andakaji could answer at the front. <laughs> Because he's more fun. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. So for me, Krishna consciousness means mission. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Jai book distribution. Jai. Uh, uh, winning over Maya and uh, winning over my, over my、uh, offenses. And、uh, I will show Krishna that、uh, I'm worthy of his mercy. And、uh, yes,、yeah, something like this. <laughs> It's like heroism. Something like this, heroism. <laughs> Those here who, li- who listened, who were, who, who, who,、uh, who uh, were going、uh, through this experience, I think they remember <laughs> how it was. <laughs> oh,、yeah. see, Brinda did it very loud. Yeah, Brinda did it loud. She laughing. knows. Maybe Brinda did it. She can see also experience. Yeah. What a difference of, you know, Krishna Bhakta <laughs> and Radha、uh, Dada. Please. <laughs> She knows many histories. Yes. She t r e a s u r e of us. Yes, very old senior devotee, experienced devotee. Je li bih, Vrinda, je li bih htjela podijeliti nešto s nama? Ja mogu prevesti. Gratja na katadesu. Pa bil. Bilo je ono, pionirski. Mi ćemo podijeliti puno, svi će postati svjesni Krišne, to je bilo neka kao žrtva. E, mi smo bili ono, spremni na, na e, kako se zove, na žrtve. Sve、A. ćemo dati za Krišnu i dat ćemo sebe Krišni. Ali za uzvrat on će nama to, ovaj, mi, smo, mi ćemo podijeliti Nas, napredovati i tako ćemo postati krišnjeni. Krišna će nas tako, ovaj,、e, tako će nas prihvatiti i to će、e, cijeniti kod nas、e, ali ono što on jedino treba ljubav to, to je uvek nekako bilo u drugom planu uvek to je falilo ne? ok, samo da prevedem ovo, ovaj dio <laughs> zapamti di si stalo so, uh, Vrinda is sharing that、uh, it was like a Pioneer, pioneering, making, actually making sacrifice for Krishna. And、uh, by making sacrifice,、uh, actually expecting that Krishna will then give us、uh, spiritual advancement and purity. And he will accept us later. Uh, when we deserve by our sacrifice, he will expect,、uh, accept us as his devotee. And somehow, in all this preaching and、uh, distribution and uh, uh, conquering Maya, lo- love went,、uh, love became second.、Mm. Secondary. No, 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 no. It was covered. By this missionary、uh, sacrificing spirit. Yeah. Fala. Da. Okay. Da. I, I onda, smo, onda sam ja barem osjetila da tu nešto fali, da jednostavno to je prazno. 
to je sve, sve divno i krasno, ali <laughs> Krišna isto treba ljubav. On, on traži ljubav, a na ovaj način je to više uh, sve drugo, samo ne ljubav. Ah. I ta, so, tako so she felt that something was missing. It was empty for her. Mm. Yeah. We did so many things and it looked very nice, but where is love? Krishna is a person and he needs love and love was somewhere else. Hvala ti. Srećom to je išto Krišna ovaj me doveo do, do Sadu Maharađu da to nađem. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vrinda said, and that Krišna then Uh, he brought me to Sadhu Maharaj and now I'm listening this. <laughs> Love is first. <laughs> Love is the only. <laughs> Thank you, Vrinda. Hvala. <laughs> Radha Charanji is, is listening or is there Radha Charanji? Yes, I'm here, John Maharaj. <clears throat> So please share something about the experience of, of Krishna Bhakta and Radha Dasi. <coughs> When uh, Kishori did he ask to share this, I started to think about Krishna consciousness. And it reminds me immediately the same as what Andaka told, his content book distribution. <laughs> and I immediately <laughs> I thought about this, and because during book distribution I had my own experience, some exchange with Krishna. Sometimes I spoke with him, and even sometimes he's really answered to me. I can hear him. Once I asked him, when I will return to, to you, and he told, in this life, He answered me. Mm. Once I offered him the juice of one vegetable, daikon. It was like daikon by test. But I never tested with juice. I thought Krishna is my friend. I want to make him happy. And I offered this juice. I was really, was into, really, with enthusiasm. I was inspired to make him happy and offered his juice, and I feel he's accepted. But then I'm tested, I found it not tested at all. I was so touched in my heart. He accept my offer, even it was not tasty. I had this experience and some other experience, but what about Ratadasi? I'm not tested enough <laughs> to compare. Then I'm hearing, um, when I'm hearing, Vilap Kusumanjali, some taste gradually, gradually coming. Shimat Radhika, so sweet. And now I know Krishna was so sweet with me because she is making him this. She, she giving him this sweetness. She is so unconditioned, loving, without any condition. How we re recently we read in Vilap Kusumanjali in commentary, Anandas Babaji Maharaj wrote, But even Jiva haven't desired to become Radha Dasi. She is choosing this Jiva and giving this very nice, very sweet gift, Radha Dasi. This is so amazing. This is what is reminding me when Kishori asked. But for me, they are not separate. They are couple, they couldn't be without each other. It's not possible. Radha is Radha because of Krishna. Krishna is Krishna because of Radha. Radha, Radha. I understood why Krishna is so sweet and so has a um, feeling of humor, sense of humor, because of Radha. Radha, Radha. And what, what the most amazing thing, what I understood here, with Srila Gurudev here, what these two could not be without us, without Manjari. No possible. This is what's most amazing for me. Radhe, Radhe. Mm. 
I would I would like to add one one thing. So uh, at one point, uh, my guru Sri Vishnu said that uh, uh, we will become pure devotees before we leave our body. Before we leave our body, we will be just completely self-realized and then after some time we will leave the body and this leaving the body will be actually just stepping into Leela that we are already part in this body so you know when you hear this <laughs> you really desire <laughs> You really desire to be self-realized <laughs> so but somehow I couldn't catch this self-realization I felt something is missing here and I'm not getting it I'm not I I'm not getting it but I knew that there is something mm -hmm. because my guru said and then, uh, when, when this, how to say this, all this, uh, 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 how to say, experiences inside and outside with uh, Anantadas Babaji, with Gurudev, with devotees. Uh, disciples of Ananta Das Babaji and Gurudev's disciples, then slowly it, it, uh, this un, un, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't catch what do I need to, what is self-realization? But then slowly it became like, ah, Ah, this is it. Ah, this is it. And then, after some time, this feeling of not being fulfilled disappeared. I didn't, now I don't feel I need something else, something more, something higher. So I need to move somewhere else. But my experience is what Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, when you come to this point of self-realization and Radha, it's not that I'm coming, but when Radha descended, descends this self-realization upon devotee, then devotee becomes peaceful. Mm. Peaceful in the sense that there is no anxiety Will I ever be self self realized? There is no this kind of anxiety. But devotee knows. In my in my in my case, I just know that's it. So I now I understand what Krishna is <laughs> talking in Bhagavad Gita. Because of mercy, of circumstances, devotees, Radha, you know. Gurudev, Ananta Baba, Raghunath. All these circumstances outside and inside, revelations from inside, just that's it. Mm. That's it. I am in the now I am in the right place. I <laughs> my I, it's me, not this me. Me. I am in the right place. I found myself. I found my friends. <laughs> my friends are with me. Some are a little older, some are a little, little younger, but it doesn't matter. We are all in love with each other. And we love our Radha. And we together serve Radha. The best that we can. And Radha is supporting. 
Rada is giving, Rada is delivering, Rada is uh, inspiring. So this feeling I didn't have before. In my life, uh, this step to Anantadas Babaji and to Gurudev and to devotees around them, this was my step into self, my self-realization. Yeah, this is the, for me, this is like big, 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 big uh, difference. Anxiety of non-self-realization and peace and happiness and hope and faith and love mm. of self-realization. Yeah. Shirad. <laughs> So very easy to understand. A Krishna Bhakta is like kind of a little bit Bhaiji Bhakti. And uh, Radha Dasi is Raga Nuga Bhakti. So if we see Gurudev, we can understand. When we experience by the bhakti we we feel all and reverence to gurudev very much and uh, some mistake and external thing we are caring somebody made mistake we try to, we may judge others and uh, <clears throat> It's not uh, relationship is not intimate kind of external relationship. But uh, if we try to be rather dashi and then more sweetness is coming means all and reverence is uh, quite far and uh, go try to go more inside ourself. Andakaji also mentioned. Like when we are doing in Baidi Bhakti, we try to see many places outside. We try to see the result, outside the result. How many how many books distributed, how much money we collect, how much temple we made, it, how many devotees we made, like this. But Radha Dasi is not like this. He may do, but he may not show up. Radha Dasi try to, Radha Dasi nature is hide. Hide herself and go more deep inside ourselves and does not criticize others or actually not to criticize and uh, say more glorification to other devotees. So if we see Gurudev, we could understand. And Radha Dasi, Radha Dasi is more humble than Krishna Bhakta. Or Radha Dasi has more feeling than Krishna Bhakta. And that's, uh, I, I'm, I'm understanding, I'm feeling. St still, I'm very far. <laughs> but Anandas Babaji Maharaj was saying, to become Radha Dasi is not, not difficult. Just to be, just to, what do you say, think I am Radha Dasi. Mm. Then that is happening. Whatever we do, I am Radha Dasi. Whatever, whatever we think, we, we get up, I'm Radha Dasi. <laughs> Whatever we do, I'm Radha Dasi. 
<laughs> Whatever sleeping, I am Radha Dasi. So Radha Dasi is difficult, most difficult things, but, but uh, Anandas Baba say not difficult. Always think I am Radha Dasi. This is also, this is Mohan Baba also, Mo, Mohan Baba's teaching us also same thing. What is most important thing in Mohan Baba was saying? This is, uh, uh, Abhima is most important. <laughs> I'm Radha Dasi. I'm humble maid servant of Radha Dasi. That is, that is the hope. Very, not qualified, but hope, so much hope. Just we think I'm Radha Dasi. Then one day, Radhika recognized. And one, one story, Gurudev mentioned. Mm. Krishna, very kind to Dropadi, because Krishna raining at midnight, Krishna was carrying Dropadi on his back. And then Dropadi was, was, <coughs> was pay obeisance to Bhishma Deva. Then Bhishma Deva was saying, you, you will have good fortune always. But uh, Bishma Deva could not understand who, who she is. Actually, she was, Bishma Deva thinking she is Duryodhana's wife, but actually Doropadi. And uh, why you came here? <laughs> and then who brought you? And then Bishma Deva got outside, Krishna was standing on the lane. And uh, Bhishma was just uh, uh, pulling the Krishna. And then Dropadi's shoes was falling down. So at that time, Bhishma was saying, you are so kind to Dropadi, your servant. You are so kind to your servant. When can I become your servant? <laughs> Bhishma Dev asking, asking to Krishna. And Krishna is saying, you are already my servant. <laughs> Even Krishna has so much love for devotee. What to speak Radharani? Radharani is more kind to Krishna. So <laughs> there is hope because Mahaprabhu was so merciful, so magnanimous. Mahaprabhu gave us so much chance to this Kaliyuga's living entity. Only we need greed. Only we need one Abhiman. I'm, I'm Radha Dasi. I'm Mahaprabhu's, Mahaprabhu's servant. I'm Radha Dasi. That's it. That's, I'm feeling Radha Dasi. Hmm. Thank you so much. I'm happy to listen all of your life experiences. Then we can understand the essence of Guru Deva's instructions. All of you are proof of his instruction. And most touching my heart is not only word, but this with feeling you are sharing your stories. 
I understand the different of feelings when you are speaking about Krishna Bhakta, when are you speaking about、uh, Radha Dasi? And it seems like Radha Dasi is a happy way, <laughs> very sweet way. It's very gift for us. Thank you so much, beautiful sharing. Radha Radha. Actually, someone who directly contact with Guru Dev is the most fortunate person, I am saying to you. <laughs> Someone who contact Guru Dev immediate, immediately, that's the most fortunate person. That's my understanding.、Mm. Okay. We will continue reading. Devotion. Without Radhika, not possible. <laughs> How Krishna will give devotion? He cannot give. His devotees give devotion. And the real devotee is Radhika. So she gives devotion. When we follow her, then we learn. What is the meaning of devotion? So, this is interesting. Devotion means love in, in action, service. Service can only Someone who is serving Krishna can give this service. And only Shakti can give Shakti to serve. Radhika is Fradini Shakti. Fradini Shakti is giving pleasure, pleasure giving potency. This someone who has love, For Krishna, he can give to this love to others. So this simple thing, who is the best devotee? Who is, who has most love for Krishna? This is Radharani. So therefore, without Radharani, mercy, we cannot enter. Buraja. And Buraja is especially Nikunja Seva, intimate pastime. It's impossible for entering. So Guru Dev was stressing. His devotee g i v e devotion. Who is supreme devotee? Who is real devotee? Is Radhika. So someone who follow Radhika, That person can give devotion to us. This is our parampara. Our parampara is coming from Nichananda. Goranga Mahaprabhu is Radhika. Nichananda is Ananga Manjari. From Ananga Manjari to all d a s i s This big succession. And then through Guru Manjari, we can get this devotion. This is Parampara. This is Raganuga <laughs> Bhakti. So Guru Dev was stressing Radhika could give devotion. So therefore we have to learn how to, how to 
practice devotion through this our Guru Manjari and our Rashka Manjari, especially like uh, Ragnata Das Goswami. And Prabodhananda Saras, Sarasati, etc. I, uh, I was thinking about the, the thought came to me about devotion, how it feels, how it feels, how feels devotion, what is the feeling of devotion. And somehow, in my awareness, Devotion means that my attention is one-pointed. My all attention goes to one person. Or in our case, because we are servants, my attention goes only to one point. How can I make my beloved person happy with my service? All my attention is there. This means that then I am devoted. There is nothing else in my awareness, in my consciousness, only this one point. And devotion means deliberate, and devotion means happy. I am happy that I am somehow fixed in this way. <laughs> Yeah. Shirad. <laughs> Beautiful, Rakina. Hmm. Guru Dev, Ed, Ed, Guru Dev, help, help. <laughs> no, no, you are telling very tough of the man. Beautiful. Shirad. One point. Not a scattered love, not a scattered one point. Rather, Shirad. One thing come to my heart about one point. So recently, uh, in morning sharing. We talked about one point, actually almost every day. <laughs> but recently one point. So, Radha is totally one point. It's so beautiful love, very pure love. It makes Hama Hababa very strongly. Then this one point moves our heart. This power of one point change other's heart. This is our Acharya's mercy. Our Acharya like Ragnata Dasa Gosami also, our Guru Devs also. They are totally one point. This strong desire, strong eagerness, strong separation feelings moves our heart. Like a, they gave us fire. This one point is very, not only instruction, but really have power. This is, I feel recently, and we talked in these days, morning sharings. Rade rade. Mm. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> 
I remember one bus. I think Bhagatam, I don't know, maybe Bhagatam. Hmm. Krishna say, someone say, I'm devotee of Krishna is not my devotee. I'm my devotee's devotee. <laughs> that is my dear devotee. That means someone who say, I am servant of Krishna is not real servant. I am Radhika's servant. That servant is Krishna is very, very much appreciated. Mm. Because Radhika is real, here Gurudev say real devotee, real, real devotee. Then real devotee's devotee is Radha Dasi. That is most. Krishna is appreciating. Radera. Mm. Uh, well, sorry. New subject. I deny it and learn new subject. All you read 89. And see that what is their new subject. One realization comes to that realization is there. We know that Krishna is a subject and Radhika become object. But this 89, Radhika becomes subject, then who is now object? In this subject, Anandas Babaji is saying that Radhika becomes subject, then who is the object? That moment of this past time. The play of the subject and object is the rasa. And uh, here, what is my realization, the manjari become object and radhika becomes subject. <laughs> new, new. <laughs> so I was a little surprised with this, this listening. <laughs> yeah, Swami so, said, I am the subject. And Baba not right with the object, but you can understand when the Krishna is also painting, what do you say? Painting. Huh? Yes. Painting. Painting. Mm -hmm. And Krishna Radha say, I am a subject. Then who is the object? The singer who is singing the song that time. She become object. We become so close in this way. More and more realization starts going in our way. When we go closeness, then it happens. One place, Jaitanya uh, Tamrit is a sloka. When I cannot realize in this physical body, when I will die, 
what I will do, who, then what, what I will understand. The beauty of realization is living in this body to develop our sarup and realize it. Sajane Bhaiwe Jaha Siddha Deha Bhaiwe Taha. And next line is this. If I don't do this Sajan Deha Siddha Deha to get it, what will happen after death? What, what I will realize, what, what I can know. Bhavane gochar taha and then when I will die, how I can realize it? So this is the chance for our life to realize what I will do the sadhana that I will get in Siddhartha, a spiritual body. And if I don't practice to be in a spiritual body, when I will leave this body, then how I will realize it? Chaitanya 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 not remember all. Sadhana And what I will feel in sadhana, what I will think was to do sadhana, then I will get the siddha become siddha And when I will get the siddha deha, that is the difference later, realizing. And if I will not realize in my siddha deha, when I will die, then what I will do after that? Leaving this body, I cannot realize anything. The moment of dying also, I cannot realize if I will not practice from now. Sadhana is realization. Sadhana is a practice for realization. And realization of Siddha Deha, my speech, constitutional position in my realization. And when this realization becomes clear, the, all his scripture is writing to you. And when this is realization comes, then what you read, anything, you will understand what is there. The moment you meditate only in your Siddha Deha and see that and read that, all crystal clear. I was in the Girasta Ashram when I started my preaching and traveling program. I don't know. Only I know the family life. But one seed given by my Guru De Mercy, my Siddha Deha was there. And from 70 and 80 was my time, what I am practicing only in Siddha Deha. Up to 94, that practice work in my life. Up to 80, I was with my Guru there. He teach me and he makes me to practice 
and after 80, my God brother, and he made me to practice. My position was in 80, I cannot say you, I was living in the citadel. In the material life, I never stopped chanting, I never stopped out coming from that. This is the gift of my Gurudev, mercy of Swami, it happens to me. I come to my sadhak there, but I visit on, I'm, I'm visiting sadhak there, but I am staying in the but I, I feel it. So I never prepare before giving class. If I prepare, I cannot give class. <laughs> because this is my preparation of my material body and concepts. And when I no prepare anything, it is start going to me. And every two, three days, I have to travel new places and new audience and new people. And when I go and sit and I pray and open my eyes, I understand what they want to do. By seeing everyone, I know what they want to do. The subject come like that. I don't know anything. What is happening? And then you tell them what they want to know. Mm -hmm. And then you tell them what they want to know. Because I'm listening and I'm sharing and also I'm listening. This is the beauty of practicing to be in This is all the power of, in my life in 80s, 74 to 80s, and after 480s, 89, 90, 91, 92. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Dev. Thank you. Guru. So, yeah, I think this is the best way to finish our sharing today. It's 9.30 in Japan. Time to 
slowly go to bed. <laughs> and so, you know, to, today Guru Dev was sharing a very, very amazing thing because, to, to generally speaking, Krishna is Vishaya and Radhika is Asharaya. Means Radhika's servant, Krishna's enjoyer, Radhika's servant. But, uh, but changing means Radhika become Vishaya and Krishna become Asharaya. And then again Gurudev saying, Radhika become, Radhika become Vishaya. And then Manjari become Ashuraya. <laughs> this is, this is, this is actually, this is actually Mahababu. No, no. Huh? Ashraya means subject. Ash, Ash, no good day. Vishaya means subject usually. Uh, Ashraya means su subject, no? Vishaya means the goal. No, Gurudev, you generally saying uh, Bisha is subject. And Bisha is Ashura is, yeah, and Ashura. then Ashura is, Ashura is, Ashura is object, generally speaking. Ashura is object. Ah, uh, yes. Guru Ashura, Guru is not an object. Means. <laughs> no, Ashura is a subject. So subject means the basic base. Base means subject is the, this is the subject. Object means the goal. Yeah, like you know, like uh, subject means like uh, I I am enjoy. That is subject good there. I don't know. Anyway, don't anyway, know. you know. Anyway, anyway, this but is. Subject means? Object means for you, object means the goal. And for the English, also. Because if not, then Krishna, why become subject? And Radhika become object. This is Chaitanya. In Chaitanya Tamrit, you see, Krishna yes. becomes sun and Radhika becomes object. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Gurudev, generally speaking, you know, in Chaitanya Tamrit, say Krishna is Vishaya means subject, and uh, Ashray means object. That is my, <laughs> I was <laughs> learning. Maybe I'm wrong. But you have to, yeah. No, 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 wrong. My English is not very good, but the Bisha and uh, Asha, Asha is the goal. Asha is the subject and Bisha is the goal. Yeah. Right? Yes, Bisha is the goal. And, uh, and Asha is Guru Asha. We have a Guru Asha. Yes. Radha Asha. Yes. Krishna is the goal, means the goal. Visha is the Krishna. Yes. But in Chaitanya Chaitanya, they change. <laughs> Radhika's goal. <laughs> Radhika becomes goal, but there is a subject and object. Yes. So Radhika becomes object there. Yes. No, also subject. <laughs> Radhika becomes subject also. No, there is a written there. The Krishna becomes subject and Radhika becomes object. That is generally speaking, Gurudev. Opposite one is completely different. Radhika becomes no, subject. Radhika becomes object and Krishna becomes subject in Chaitanya. Yeah. Good day. This is this is general one. Anyway, you know, like a same subject object. Krishna is always object. Yeah, but uh, Krishna, Krishna is 
Vishaya, generally speaking. Vishaya, Krishna is a Vishaya. Vishaya, but Radhika is Ashraya. Radhika is Ashraya, Krishna is a Vishaya. This yes. is the thing. But the, the Chaitanya Chatta with Krishna become Ashraya. Yes. Radhika become Vishaya. Yes, right, Gurudev. This is right. And here is written that Radhika become Ashray and Manjari become Bisha. <laughs> this is eighty nine. See that <laughs> because if the Manjari knows saying the Krishna is not waking up. So Radhika is watching to her Manjari, why yes. not she is singing? So for Radhika at this time, Manjari becomes the object, when the goal, Vishay, that she has to see now. <laughs> to wake Krishna up. So. And this is the Raga. This is the Rasa. Rasa. Mm -hmm. This is Rasa. That mm -hmm. object becomes subject, subject becomes object. Mm -hmm. This is also Gurudev, you mentioned 12, 12 and a half. No? This, is, this is described also. One place I re see this. Mm -hmm. One place, one. I don't remember the book. In Narayan Maharaj Vilaku Sumanji. Narayan Maharaj writes it. In Vilaku Sumanji, in 16. Acha? Yeah. Half is important. <laughs> he said half is important. Something is like that. Hmm. In sixteen, I think I will show you that. But in the book is with the Kishori. <laughs> yeah, I also check it out. <laughs> I check it out. See this sixteen. Hmm. And one thing is written in Narayan Maharaj book that outside of the Vrindavan, Manjari, how nobody wins up and nobody can do sadhana of this without living in the Vrindavan. Hmm. So, Bhav asks Sati to understand, we have to stay in Vrindavan to understand. Hmm. We have to accept that mood of Radha Dasi to understand. Hmm. Therefore, Anantas Bhavaji Maharaj was suggesting disciples to stay in, in Vrindavan, especially Radha <laughs> Anang Manjari, uh, Janva Magoswami, one of our disciples is asking about the Manjari, how to understand, how is Asrati to understand. Mm -hmm. Then she explained, this sadhana can only practice in Vrindavan. Out of Vrindavan, nobody will understand how it does. Mm. Yes, Ramai, I think, Ramai Taku asking Janapama. Yeah. Yes. So, Narayan Maharaj is not explained because he's all devotees of the outside of Vrindavan that time. And also explain, but they don't, they may not understand <laughs> like, like oh, me. He explained, 
That's why sometimes the Leela half becomes dotted. That is the point. So you see, half here, Manjali, Radha is watching. I teach the song to her. Why not be singing? I say to do something for Krishna to wake What is the word there? He states it. Huh? To wake him up. Ah. And then, uh, what is a very nice word they use? Zoom. Like, Zoom. 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 But uh, Taradika asked the Manjari Tulasi to sing because she is too close to Krishna. So now she becomes Asha and waiting for the uh, Manjari to sing. She says, sing to me. Yeah, yeah. To wake him. So what is the meaning? The who is the subject? Who is the who is the who is the man uh, Ashra who took the Ashra watching to Manjali? Why not sing song? The Dutta, this is my life. Yes, it is. So this is the Leela happening. Mm. Go to become object. Mm -hmm. Ob uh, subject become object, object become subject. And this to say, this is the pastime of divine Leela. Mm. We have to watch for who is where. This is the last time. This is the last time. Not blocking, who are placed. That is the beauty of the pastime. Mm. But isn't this happening inside of Mahaprabhu also? Then even in Mahaprabhu, it should happen that Manjari becomes object. Why? Why? Why is this? Yes, happening. And then he become excited. Yeah. And when ecstasy come, and from that time, I'm listening everything that my mind is there. That is my ecstasy. Wow. The dasi becomes now. Now so she wants to waiting for her listening. Mm. She, for the songs again. she teach and she's waiting that she will outside why not singing? How to re remove the spoon. So oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. She is waiting for that. Mm. From that moment, I cannot remove my. He fainted. Oh. Yeah, he fainted. And Radhika wants to he, he, he come out, wake up. But she can't do it herself. Huh? She can't do it herself, Radhika. She needs classes to sing the song. That is what is the meaning? Means. She is waiting for her dasi to sing. She is a teacher and she is waiting to sing. She is a teacher. Waiting for her student to, his student to, to do that job. What <laughs> teacher? <laughs> wow. She is an ashraya. And Manjari become Visha. This is the closeness of Manjari Bhav. One human can do this. In the, in the book, this, this pain, human can reach up to here. Yeah, that was the, that was the limit. That is the, ex the highest extraordinary that. limit. Yes, the Mahabharata. What is impossible, 
but we will make possible for that. Wow. This is morning class today was that. Then he is reading many questions. He said, I said, this is subject. <laughs> I don't know subject, object, but I said, yes. Teacher, no? Ashra, yeah. and waiting for watching to make up the bathing of the job. Waiting for the student to yeah. perform the song. Yeah. yeah. So in that Lila, Trashi asked, uh, did I pass this exam? Then Rada and Mohan big smile. <laughs> now I understand the meaning of exam. This is a limit. <laughs> so when she asked you to sing, it's the exam after the teaching. And that's oh, that's exam. No, she is not testing. One time she teach and Krishna to the young. Krishna say, you sing. That time Krishna is there. that time Manjri passed. One time listening, he can play the Veena and sing. Those he sing. But this Radhika is waiting when Krishna becomes soon. <laughs> he passed the gun there. Yes. You don't remember? He showed it. Yes. <laughs> One Vaishnava said to me, drink from the this year. So it goes inside, drinking. So this is not test. Radhika is anxiously waiting because she cannot sing, although she is a teacher, but she is. Waiting for his student, Dasi, to do. And this time she said, You are my object now. Because only you, only you can move the soul. Soon of my And I need now. I cannot wait for this. Emergency. Emergency. <laughs> <laughs> what a rasa guru dev! <laughs> it's so <laughs> that to see that to see how they are Leela doing. They say I'm the sir Ashra, you are my wisha. Now he has said, I am your answer. You are Visha. Are why not? What I think? <laughs> Let's hear. <laughs> this is the time to sing. And she's outside the room. And she's sitting, supporting to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, outside the kuns leaning on the wall. <laughs> leaning on the wall, relaxing. Like 
but she can feel nothing. No? When she feel the radhika, why then she starts? And it's now wake up to what she like. What does she teach? The guru teaches, but he also sometimes need his teaching to apply in our life. Waiting to apply, apply it. Sing from as yeah. so this is the divine pastime of Guru and Shish. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Gurudev.